Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, as you can see, we've got three EcoFlow River products in front of us. We've got the EcoFlow River Pro, the EcoFlow River, and the new EcoFlow River Mini. Now, what we're going to do here to help people out is we're just going to go over the capabilities of these three machines. We're going to also go over the ports of these three machines to really go over the differences. We're not going to be doing any testing in this video, but I thought it would be helpful if someone was interested in one of these machines and wanted to see a video showing all three machines, showing the ports, and talking about the capabilities. So let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, let's start off talking about weight and cost. First, let's start, talk about weight. The EcoFlow River Pro is 16.9 pounds or 7.6 kilograms. The River is 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. But if you get the expended battery, which makes the River Max, that's 17 pounds or 7.7 .7 kilograms. And I'll go over a little bit more about the Max in a little while. The Mini is a sweet spot. This thing is 6.3 pounds or 2.85 kilograms. So it's a super light machine, great for portability. Cost-wise, the Pro is $629, the River is $349, and the Mini comes in two flavors. So the non-wireless version sells for $350, and the wireless version, we'll talk more about, sells for $399. Let's spend a moment talking about what these machines come with. The mini non-wireless version only comes with an AC adapter and some booklets. If you get the wireless version, it'll come with the AC adapter. It'll also come with the XT60 car charging cable and solar cables. Okay, these are these two guys here. All right, and that's if you get the wireless version. Now, the Pro and the river all come with an AC charging cable, your solar charging cable here with the, you know, the XT60, your car charging cable with the XT60, and a barrel cable, okay, that you can use for the DC ports. So you are going to get more with the river and the river pro or the mini wireless. Let's spend some time going over the EcoFlow River Pro. So this unit sells for $629. It's 720 watt hour capacity as far as the batteries are concerned. If you get the expansion battery, it'll double the capacity to 1440 watt hours, which is amazing. The expansion battery is $429. Let me go ahead and bring up a slide so you can see what that looks like. So as you can see on the right side, that's how the battery plugs into the unit. Now, let's get back to some specs. This unit is a 600 watt unit. It surges up to 1200 watts. And with EcoFlow's X-Boost technology, it can power electronics up to 1800 watts. But be aware, that will not work for every type of electronics. So make sure you look at the EcoFlow website for the limitations. Now, the nice part about this unit is it has three ways you can charge it. You can plug it into your wall via AC. You can plug it into your car or your truck or your RV with DC. You can also power this and charge it with solar. Remember those cables I showed you earlier. And this thing handles up to 200 watts of input for this on the solar side. That's amazing. Now, this unit you can plug in 10 devices at the same time and charge them with all these different ports that you have on the right and all that, which is nice. I do like that it has a 100-watt USB 
Type-C port. I really like that because you can plug in a MacBook or a lot of laptops these days. Now the battery, uh, the battery life cycle states 800 cycles and then it goes to 80 plus, 80% 80 plus capacity. So just be aware. One other awesome feature I like about this unit is it has pass-through charging. And what that means is I can plug in my TV and my phone and all that stuff to this and, and charge those devices. And while I'm charging them, I can actually charge the unit with solar, AC, or DC at the same time. Now, a lot of, a lot of power stations don't do that. So that's a really, really cool feature to have and a definite needed feature. Let's now take a look at the ports themselves. You do get a flashlight and it's got three modes, including SOS, your power button's right there. You've got an IoT reset button here, and that's used to connect your power station to Wi-Fi when you're using the app for firmware updates and also to control it. You get a USB Type-C port that's 100 watts. You get three Type-A USBs, but this one's a fast charge. You get your DC port, which we all know about, with a nice cover, so you can plug in a car charger there, etc. You also get two more ports here, so if you decide, you can use a barrel port depending on what you're plugging in, but most of us would want to go out and buy something like this, because then you can plug this into here, and now you get an additional car charger, and what's nice is you can get two of these, right? So you'll have three car chargers, which is nice. Let's take a look at the right side of the unit and you will see that we now have three AC outlets and your power button for those AC outlets and your fan. Here is where you would plug in the expansion battery cable. So it's right here on the side. All right. Okay. The back doesn't have anything. So it's a plain design with the logo. On the right side is where you have a panel, which I like that it's covered, you know. You open the panel up, you can charge via AC, you've got your reset button, and here is where you put the car charger cable or the solar cable. This is called an L XT60. One of the things I like also is it does have some really nice rubber on the bottom, so you don't have to worry about if I'm putting this down on something, will it scratch it? And lastly, the handle, I'll tell you, I love it. They did a great job with that handle. This next slide is really the specs for the EcoFlow River Pro. Hit pause if you want to review them. I'm going to go on now to the EcoFlow River. Now this is the EcoFlow River. And before I start, I just want to show you this display. You know, you need to see this because all three of the units have this display and it is wonderful. It tells you the charge, how many hours you have left, your input, and your output. It tells you that you're connected to Wi-Fi. Um, your countdown on hours will, will change once you start plugging things in. But that display is phenomenal. So let's continue on with the EcoFlow River. Now this unit sells for $349. But this unit can be converted into a River Max with an expansion battery that sells for $269 and doubles the capacity. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you a picture so you see what that looks like. So on the left, you've got your river, which I have in front of me. In the middle, you've got your expansion battery. And on the right, the expansion battery actually screws into the bottom of the unit. Let me show you that real quick. So here's the bottom of the unit, okay? And it's actually got screws that you can take out and then put the expansion battery in and then you can double the capacity. Now they sell the EcoFlow Max as well if you just want to get it with the battery installed um, right there. Now this is a 288 watt hour unit. The expansion battery will bring it to 576 watt hours. This is a 600 watt unit just like the EcoFlow River Pro. It surges up to 1200 watts, and again, with EcoFlow's X-Boost technology, can handle many electronics up to 1800 watts, and again, 
make sure you check out EcoFlow's website for the limitations on that because there are some electronics that won't work with this. This also can be charged via AC, you know, DC or solar and the solar maximum input is 200 watts. This can also charge up to 10 devices at the same time. It does have that, you know, USB type C port 100 watt, which is really nice. The battery life cycles on this is 500, whereas the EcoFlow River Pro is 800. And again, after that, it goes to an 80% plus capacity. So it's not over with. Don't worry about the 800 cycles or the 500 cycles, but this is 500 cycles. And again, this has that pass-through charging. I love that. You can plug something into this while you're charging it. Love that. Let's take some time and go over the ports. So let's look at it from the front. And you can see you've got that same flashlight. You've got the IoT reset to connect to your app, to your Wi-Fi, wherever you're at. You've got your USB uh, C, type, type C 100 watt. You've got three type A's, one fast charge. You've got, again, your DC port, just like you do in the, uh, on the Pro, your two barrel cables, your power button. And again, don't forget, you know, you can pick these up. I'll put them in the uh, links. But, you know, if you want to convert these so you could use a regular car charger, you can do that. So I'll put that in the links in the description. Now let's look at the right side. We've got our fan. We've got our three AC uh, plugs and our power switch. To the back, you've got a logo. On the other side, you've got that panel. Open it up, AC, your reset, and your XT60. Again, on the bottom, you've got nice rubber, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, any trouble as far as putting this on the counter and making any scratches. This next slide is the specs for the river. Take a look at it, hit pause. I'm gonna move on and cover the mini now. Hey guys, if you're really enjoying this video, take a moment, give us a thumbs up. Brooklyn and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. And here is the new EcoFlow Mini. This thing is tiny. Now, the one you see in front of you is the non-wireless version. There's no charging pad, and there is no USB Type-C here. All right? The other difference is when you get the wireless version, you do get the solar cables and the car charging cables in the box. This one, you're only going to get the AC charging cables. This unit sells for $350. The wireless version sells for $399. Let me go ahead and show you a picture of the wireless version versus the mini. As you can see on the right side, you've got that type C port with the yellow right there pointing to the arrow. On the bottom, you've got your wireless charging on the top just to show you that, okay? Overall, what makes this unique is it's 6.3 pounds or 2.85 kilograms. So it's super light and super small. Now this is a 300 watt unit and it surges to 600 watts. By the way, I will be coming out with another video comparing the wireless version to the non-wireless version. I will also be doing testing on the wireless version in that video. That should be coming out shortly. Let me show you what the image looks like. That's what the image will look like. So keep an eye on the channel. That'll be in my power station playlist. I did update this, by the way. Um, the X-Boost does show that it's available on the app, but this does not have X-Boost to my knowledge. Now, if you get the wireless version, you can charge this via AC, DC, and solar, up to 100 watts of solar. Now, with the non-wireless version, that's the one that's available right now, you would have to go out and buy the cable separately, okay? So you can do that. 
But to be honest, if you can get the wireless version, you'll get the wireless charging, the Type-C, and the cables for $50 more. I think that's worth it. All right. Now, the wireless version can charge eight devices at the same time. And the non-wireless version can only charge six because it doesn't have the wireless and it doesn't have the Type-C. All right. Now, the Type-C on the wireless version is 100 watt, so that's really nice. As far as uh, life cycle, this says uh, 500 cycles on the battery, and then it goes to 80% plus capacity. All right? Now, let's take a moment and look at the ports. As you can see here, you've got three Type-A's, and none of them are fast charged, so be aware. You've got your IoT button, so you can actually connect to the app, all right, and do your firmware updates. That's your power button right there. You have your DC port with, uh, you know, your power button right there. If you turn it to the left, you do have two AC outlets with the power switch. Your panel here for your AC charging, and if you buy the cables, the XT60 for the solar and the DC charging, and some nice ports for air breathability. On the other side, you get your fan. And one thing they did that's kind of nice is if you're just carrying this around, they made a groove here that you could actually just carry this, which is nice. It does have rubber on the top, I noticed. And on the bottom, it also has some rubber feet as well, so they did a good job there as far as that's concerned. All right. The next screen, I'm going to bring up the specs to the EcoFlow Mini. You can hit pause and review those. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found the information helpful. I thought it would be a good idea to put these up at the same time and go over the ports and go over some of the capabilities. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It definitely helps the channel. Again, this video is not sponsored. We go out and buy our product. Once in a while we get sponsored, but it's so rare. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Hey, guys. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.